going on, you guys? So Demetrius Andrade, as we know, was supposed to be going up to face Zach Parker after vacating his WBO middleweight title. Right? He vacated the belt instead of facing his mandatory um, Zanabek. And now Demetrius Andre goes up to 168 pounds once again to once again face Zach Parker. And now he don't take the fight. Um, hit that like button for your boy, man, because we gotta we gotta keep it 100 on Boo Boo right now, man. We gotta keep it 100 on Demetrius Boo Boo Andre because this is a pattern. For honest, what we've been witnessing throughout the career of Demetrius Boo Boo Andre is that this has been a pretty consistent pattern. Um, of him pulling out of negotiations or pulling out of fights or whatever the case may be, right? Um, the story from Charlo back in the day still looms till this day. Um, just various other instances where you heard that he may have pulled out for whatever reason due to money or having a bad management team or whatever the case may be. Um, this has been a pattern with Demetrius Andre. And now at 34 years old, one may ask what's left for him right but zach parker's pretty upset from getting bamboozled two times by this guy wasted a lot of time um entertaining even entertaining a fight with demetrius android right and of course this would have been a, a big opportunity for a guy like zach parker but it just didn't happen and yeah um he says this i never badmouth any fighter i very rarely speak but this is not right i feel my career has been badly stalled i'm very lucky to have frank warren Neil Marsh and Black Country Boxing behind me because I'm ready to go. This won't prevent me from getting where I'm going. Demetrius Andre knew he would get knocked out clean, and he was the perfect fight for the progress to become a world champion. I look forward to fighting in November and delivering a big performance for all my fans and team. Zach Parker would have been, he's not, he's pretty much going to be the next guy in line to face Canelo Alvarez if one of those sanctioned bodies forces a mandatory on Canelo. He's one of the guys that's likely going to be next. Demetrius Andre pulls out of this fight because basically the purse bid was just ridiculously low, right? It, it, it says this, right? It says Andre, 31 and 0, 19 KOs, first looked Parker's way late last year, eyeing an interim title fight in lieu of a mandatory title defense against Kazakhstan's Zanabek and Anoli which was ordered last November 30th. The fight was due to go to first bid hearing, which was delayed several times before being canceled outright when the WBO approved a follow-up request by Andre to instead face Parker as super middleweight. Their fight went to a first bid hearing, won by Warren's Queenberry's promotion with a bid of $1,834,050 to the outpaced matchrooms boxing. Andre's promoter at the time who bid one million seven hundred fifty thousand. Andre was due sixty-five percent of the winning bid. One million one hundred ninety-two thousand to travel abroad, but never made the trip or collected the check. A shoulder injury forced his withdrawal in early May and kept him out of the ring all summer and for the entire year, dating back to last November nineteenth in the final defense of his WBO middleweight title. Demetrius Andre has been just. You know, the, the second time with the Zach Parker fight, he was supposed to go, um, he pulls out of the fight due to injury, right? Just out of nowhere, he got a shoulder injury, you know, and and then he was going back down. WBO said, look, you got to fight <laughs> Zanabek. He was like, you know what? Uh, let me go back up. And now he pulls out again. I mean, you can't defend this type of behavior. Even as a Demetrius Andre fan, you cannot defend this type of behavior. This is an ugly, ugly pattern that he's been displaying, and it really is, it has done nothing for his career. Demetrius Andre is supposed to be one of the best fighters in the world. He's supposed to be one pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world. He's been on the shadows. He's been in the shadows for years. You've been hearing whispers, boo boo Andre, boo boo Andre, whispers. And now you may never see him in a big fight at all now. And he, you could, one may say he essentially squandered his his whole his opportunity at this point. Yeah, guys was ducking him, but yeah, he made a lot of bad decisions as well. You should have you should at least kept your WBO belt because you would have had something. Now you ain't got nothing. So now, unless Charlo decides to fight you, because both of you guys don't have any opponents right now, you ain't well, what's left out there for you. You ain't bringing nothing to the table but the name Demetrius Andre. 
And guys like Benavidez, Plant, all these other guys can say, well, he really done nothing. They could just, they could really say that. They say he fought nobody and he's really done nothing. I mean, he's been, come on, man. It's been a consistent pattern with Boo Boo Andre. It says, once deemed healthy, Andre was instructed. It says, once deemed healthy, Andre was instructed to again negotiate with Ellen Oli, the interim WBO middleweight title by that time, following a second round knockout of Danny Dangum of May 21st in Las Vegas. Talks once again went nowhere, nor did plans for a purse bid when Andre waited to the last minute to instead vacate his title. So Andre pretty much was playing games with the the Zanabek fight, and then he waited to the last minute and then ev eventually vacated the title. And Aloli was elevated to full titles while Andre Parker was back in play. Right? So he vacated the belt. Zanabek became the full WBO champion. Now, he's the WBO champion down there now. Now, if guys want to unify, they got to fight Zanabek now. Andre pretty much left that on the table. Went up to go up to fight the guy that he was supposed to fight in the first time, and then he pulled out of the fight because the money was too low. Now he ain't got shit out here, right? It says, Queensberry Promotions once again claim rights to the fight, this time for a low price of 350000 No, 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 I'm sorry. Let me take that back. 305000 As the only bidder, Andre was due 60%, 183000 to travel to Parker's home country for a fight planned for November 5th. See? The first time it was worth a lot more. The first time it was a lot more, but now this time it was much, 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 much less. So much less that he said, "Forget about it. I'm not doing it." But I think at this point, Andre should have did that shit because now what's left for him? If he had went up in there and beat up on Parker, at least he would have still been in a position at 168 pound weight division. Now he ain't got nothing, right? Now he ain't got nothing out here. He can't go back down to get that belt from Zanabek. He ain't about to go back down the middle way. Wow. What a way to sabotage your, your career, man. And it's coming from a boo boo fan. I'm not a boo boo hater. Y'all know that. But come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? You circled around Edis Landy Laura for years. Y'all kind of circled around each other. But yeah, I heard you 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 came on, on public and said something like he's a boring fighter and stuff like that. Like, yeah, man. And now you're pulling out of fights with guys like Zenebeck, Zach Parker, you know. You pulled out of the Charlo fight for whatever reason back in the day. I mean, you got a history of pulling out, bro. You got a history of pulling out of, out of fights, man. And then, look, this situation right here, he's no longer with Eddie Hearn and them, right? So this was a this was a really, really low purse, if I'm honest. It is. But what is he going to do moving forward? He's still Demetrius Andre. Guy still ain't going to want to fight him. Now he really don't got no reason to fight him. So he essentially sabotaged his career by not taking this move, man. This was a this was a risky move he took by jumping up down, going up down, playing around with the politics. And now it kind of burned his ass. And now, you know, he should have just took the Parker fight for the low ball and Herbie got him up out of there. Dude was really, should have been easy work, right? But apparently Zach Parker ain't that much of some easy work. I mean, but 183000 is a pretty low purse for a guy like Demetrius Andre, if I'm honest. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. But he says, I feel badly messed about it, and I'm disgusted by his behavior, stated Parker. This is a pattern. With that, what happened with Jenna Bag and Middleweight, then coming to Superman and causing havoc, he entered a purse bid, with, with, which my Hall of Fame promoter, Frank Warren, won with what was a huge bid for the fight, then pulled out of the fight with an injury. He wasted time, effort, and money spent by all of us in the UK to make a huge event in my beloved Derby County Football Club. It meant losing out on my dream. Demetrius Andre then went back to middleweight, messed about there, dropping his belt at the 11th hour and coming back, entering another purse bid for our fight. Once again, Frank Warren won, though a much smaller bid because Frank's experience knowing that there would be no other bidders. I spent good money on sparring, training camps, and for what? To watch Demetrius Andre pull out again because I feel he isn't happy with his purse. End quote. This that's what Zach Parker had to say in closing. You know, Demetrius Andre ain't got shit to say. What could he say? He pretty much sabotages it's pretty much over for Demetrius Andre. It's pretty much over. I mean, he if he if he thought guys didn't want to fight him when he had had the belt, how you think guys gonna want to fight you when you ain't got no belt? They offering you $183,000 to fight now, bro. 
because you was playing games, man. You should have took the Zenebeck fight first. You should have took the Zach Parker fight. You should have took one of those fights, man, just to stay busy, just to stay in the momentum. Playing around, pulling out of fights, man, and the, and, and the pattern exposed them now. It exposed them. It's a pattern. It is a pattern. Got to keep it 100 on here, bro. I know some boo-boo fans ain't going to like that shit, but we got to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? It's a pattern. I'm a boo-boo fan, but this is a pattern, bro, and it's not looking good for him. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.